Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Working Man Ron Doyle. I've got a little episode today where we're pulling uh, 5 8 uh, mule tape into 3 inch and 4 inch conduit. One for the primary and one for the secondary uh, due to double power regulations here on uh, Maryland's Eastern Shore. I'm a master electrician and uh, I'm going to do a little video presentation of pulling mule tape in with a 3 horsepower Craftsman shop bag which has got some age on it. Uh, we're at a job site, there's no power, so we're using a uh, Predator 2000 watt generator. I'm going to uh, pan you around so you can see uh, the destination points of where we're starting and stopping. We're pulling in the 5.8 mule tape through this 3 inch riser hooked to the 200 amp meter socket on the wall. Traveling down to where a pad mount transformer is going to be sitting right there. We're going to pull the, uh, the first mule tape from the primary, which is the conduit right there. It goes 510 feet all the way out to that pole. What I'm going to do is set the spool cart up right here. I've got a racketeer spool cart set up with a 4,000 uh, foot of uh, 5 8 poly line. We're going to pull that in. I'm going to drive around to the street, hook up the vacuum cleaner with a generator suck the line in now the lines probably gonna have some condensation in it don't know how it's gonna go but uh this is the longest pull I've ever done hopefully uh, it goes good wish me luck now the way that I'm getting this started we have uh, just traditional sized uh, food line shopping bags I've got seven of them I'm gonna take the bags I've got them all laid out flat take the uh, 1800 pound mule tape this is uh, this is bought from the ribbon factory. We're gonna loop it over, and we're gonna tie a slip knot in this. So that we can pull the bags tight. And that's how we're gonna initiate the pull through this conduit to get down to the far end at 510 feet toward the street into the uh, lineman's pole. All right, I got you set up. Got the uh, generator warming up on the truck. We're out here by the pole. We've got a four inch PVC coupler. We got a uh, thin wall coupler and this is a Fernco 3 inch with a Fernco hub pressed into it and that is a 2 inch to a 3 inch most of this stuff can be found at uh, Lowe's Home Improvement Stores and Home Depot that's not your plumbing supply house uh, video is going to get a little loud because this is where I'm going to impose the noise of the vacuum let's see what happens Ladies and gentlemen, just like that, it's just that quick. This worked like a dream. Uh, if you're thinking about pulling a mule tape, good idea. And this was only, I believe, seven or eight bags. We're going to go down to the other end uh, on a secondary and pull that in. Now, this end, the Marvel Power uh, wants eight to ten foot left out. So what I'm going to do is uh, coil up eight to ten foot of wire. And I'm going to nail it to the pole so they'll have uh, access and it won't fall back down. And I'm going to put uh, painter's tape uh, or duct tape over the end to keep uh, debris and contaminants out of pipe conduit chaseway until they get time to pull it. I apologize about the wind. We're back at the spool. It looks like it overspooled quite a bit. Uh, I got a little mess to clean up, but we'll pull the uh, secondary voltage in. We're going to use the same. Uh, seven bags that I used to pull the 510 foot run in. Uh, this run here is about 60, 65. Uh, doing the same exact thing. And 
And one thing I didn't elaborate on earlier was you want to make sure this is over spooling on the top side. So what I mean by over spooling is it spools from the top down into the conduit. This might be a little tighter. If it's too tight, you can always take a couple bags off to adjust your tension inside the pipe. Let's, uh, let's hook this up and see what she does. I'll be over there at the meter socket on the wall. I've got the vacuum cleaner in the back of the truck. I'm gonna pan you down to the uh, spool so you can see what this does. Try to get you a good view on this. It looks pretty good. Wow, that really sucks the line in. Made another mess for me to clean up. But uh, she pulled out there, no problem at all. I mean, we're talking a matter of seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all like the video presentation of uh, pulling mule tape, 1800 pound test, 5 8 mule tape into three inch and four inch conduit uh, raceways. If you like the video, please consider subscribing to my channel for future videos, crushing that like button, Greatly appreciate it. Y'all have a blessed, wonderful day. Until the next time, stay safe. Y'all have a blessed one.